in this video, I'm going to show you the perfect complement to the PA boot over in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen any of my videos before, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you want to get better at this game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it allows you to know whenever we release new videos with more tips and strategies for you to be able to become a better Madden player. We release new videos every day multiple times a day so make sure to subscribe and then also really quickly before we dive too deep into this this is a preview of my bunch tight end offensive ebook if you want to get the ebook the link is in the description and if you have any questions my phone number is in the top left you can always text me and hit me up okay guys so i wanted to go over uh the play tight end corner today and i wanted to give you a very specific way to use this now there's several different things that you can do with this play um, in today's video, we're going to just focus on one of those. So the, the, the way that you run PA boot over or PA cross is you basically do this right here. You just delay fade the tight end and go. And essentially, this crossing route is super hard to guard consistently. As you can see, it gets over the top of a lot of zones. So what people's solution to this is, a lot of people's solution to this is, is essentially they're going to man up him. So they're going to put him into man coverage. So they may do something like that right there where they basically have man coverage on um, that crossing route and that might help slow it down a little bit well that's where tight end corner becomes really really powerful so all we're going to do is we're going to streak the tight end we're going to smart route tape on Austin and then I absolutely love this route to Jones I never take this route off the field and then from there you can do a couple of different things the first thing that you could do is you could you could um, put Devontae Adams on his, leave him on his route if you wanted to you could put him on a curl route if you wanted to. You could put him on anything really that you want. I personally like to put him on a curl route. And then I'm just going to motion Valdez Scantling to the left and snap as soon as he moves. What you'll find is if they're not playing hard flats, you can throw that ball for a quick five, a quick five, a quick five if you want to. This forces the defense. It forces the defense to have to play some type of hard flat coverage on your offense on both sides of the field because again you have the you have the running back route as well that you, that we're talking about so i can wait 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 and then hit the running back quick if i wanted to to get a quick five to seven yards in the flat so i have flats on both sides that they have to take care of now a lot of people will at this point in the season a lot of people are running um mabel coverages where they basically have double flats on both sides to be able to take that away and that's where this route to um that's where this route to table on Austin comes in this specific route gets over every single zone drop in Madden especially when you pair it with the streak as you see right there it's an absolute laser the streak will pull all of the deep blue zones with him that post route will come underneath it and it gets wide open it just simply works that's the bottom line here it doesn't matter what I do defensively let me show you an example right now I'm going to go Mabel coverage I have I have flat zones on both sides that are shaded back at, I think, 20 yards. I have, or 25 yards. I have purple zones that are shaded back as well. And you'll take a look here. Again, this is just a simple pass lead up. Click on, and you see it's an absolute laser on the sideline. It's a very similar route to the play curl flat from trips tied in in my opinion this is actually maybe a little bit even better of a play. Now I want to show you just quickly here cover two. And this, this route will beat that as well. Now, the beauty of this of this play is it also comes with a real... And, of course, I get a nice throw out of sack. The only thing is you do need a little bit of time in the pocket. That's why, again, if they're blitzing you, you have those quick reads. You can throw your, um, you could, you could throw your route to... To your to your tight end, you could throw your route to your running back. You could throw your route to your um, your slot over here on the left side on the out. So you can do all of that as well. But again, I just want to show you this post just really torches zone drops. That's a Tampa two gets way over the top of that um, for an easy dot. Now the next thing that I want to share with you, a lot of people, I get a lot of questions for, hey Cody, how do you beat Mabel coverage? How do you beat Mabel coverage? How do you beat how do you how do, how do you beat Mabel coverage? Right? Here's how you do it. Um, you run a curl flat concept. The curl flat concept destroys Mabel coverage. So essentially this flat route will pull all of the zones to the outside, as you can see right here. And it's going to leave this curl route wide open in the middle field for about 15 yards, and then you just basically roll with that. That's how you do it. They're going to have to go user the post route. It's going to leave that curl route wide open. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could do this right here because, again, I talked about how it's actually very, very common for people that are playing bunch tight end to want to man up onto the slot receiver. So, what you and they very rarely will man up without a scaling. We have other plays for this in our ebook, but this is another combination that you could use. Essentially, you're putting that as scaling on the curl route, still motion him out, but now he's on the curl route and Adams is on the flat. The one problem with that is when you that curl route, in my opinion, is much better if you just leave it where it is. When you try to motion that curl route out, sometimes, as you saw right there, um, sometimes the, the, the purple zones do a decent job of playing it when it's motioned out. If you don't motion it out, same thing that happened with Devontae Adams, right? Same exact concept right here. So I'll show you right here. Motion them out. There we go. And now you're going to notice all the flats go with him, and you have Vada Scantling for a high point pass right over there on that left side of the screen. So that is tight end corner. Tight end corner is a great complement to the PA cross because a lot of different receivers are now getting the ball. You can't cross man out of that. If you cross man out of it, you're going to leave people wide open all day long. So that is a little bit about the bunch tight end. If you want to throw the ball for over 400 yards every single game, I want to encourage you to pick up that bunch tight end guide. It is just 15 bucks. It's in the description of this video. Uh, you can pick it up. If you have any questions about it, text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you want to see me run this offense, um, it is going to be on stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Would love to have you come by and hang out with us. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock right here on the YouTube channel.